It's way cooler, more colorful <laughs> than American books. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism, James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally I mean, we just experienced it not that long ago. Created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was <laughs> Persona 3. And now, it's what? nothing. It's it really is, all. isn't it? It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. America only takes American money, most likely. But again, you could probably just go to a bank and, like, translate it over. Essentially, convert it. I don't read any reviews except this one. How do you review a game like the Stanley Parable? To describe any one part of it is to risk its ruination. To detail what it has to say about game design, the illusion of choice, and the psychology of the gamer is to tell you too much. Comparisons, too, are going to be woefully inadequate. Perhaps its closest cousin would be Dear Esther. I've heard the name before. I don't know anything about it. I should look into it one day. Or Dear Esther wastes the form of interactive entertainment Stanley Parable uses and then subverts it. Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Even so, holding the game to the standards of any other title is simply not going to be correct. So how do you review what has become known as the Stanley Parable HD? The full-scale reimagining of one of the most intriguing mods available online. How do you discuss it, analyze it, and recommend it? That's quite simple. You don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're here. We're here in the place. Let's begin again. The tasteful nostalgic it was good. Oh, there was the there was the old Minecraft stuff before they replaced it with a uh, with Firewatch into Rocket League. I remember watching people back in the day, and it like briefly transports you into Minecraft, and you watch the narrator like build a house. I think, right? I think there is the portal room. Huh. Ten out ten, IG Ed. Memory zone maintenance. So I'm not getting in there. Oh. Knowing your city. I don't know how to properly read this here. If anybody else can do it, be my guest. I might turn the bit rate up a little bit. I turned it down earlier because I was dropping frames like crazy, but it seems like now I'm not, so I might turn it a smidge up again and we should be okay. Hopefully I don't show dropping moves. frames like crazy. <laughs> New band word button. Oh no, I received the $30 there, puppy o cam. My goodness gracious. Button, huh? Button. <sighs> Button. Well. <laughs> well then. Let's see here. Band words. Let me, um. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and copy paste this. Edit com, band words. Hold on, now I need to copy and paste this command here, make a new thing. When I say that, All right, I've never seen the media that this is a reference to, but I think I'm familiar with it from meme culture, so I think I got the line right. I think. So if I say the word button to test. Button? Please, please do not push the button. You have no idea what it... <laughs> is that the quote, I think? Please, please, do not push the button. You have no idea please, what please it- Please, please do not push the button. You have no idea what it- <laughs> That's- that's the quote, right? Dexter's lab? I believe. There's the doors. You just said door. Knock, knock. Hey. <sighs> Dang it, bolt my headphones off. <laughs> Oh, 
Person of the Year. Stanley Parable. Hate Mondays. Bunch of testing stuff there. Oh, the two different colored doors. Interesting. For Scott K. End is never, the end is never. Welcome back, Guzma. <laughs> uh huh. Th this is the image that was sent earlier. When that image was posted saying it's real, this is the image in question. It was real. <laughs> Return from the grave. Is that so? Your number is 29. Oh, isn't that like some sort of route that we could take that I guess I didn't take? You can confirm it is the quote. Okay, top 10 memories from the Stanley Parable. Wait. <laughs> Preparing snake oil salesman? Something with an R? That was a demo. Huh. Here's another moving passage. Repeatable it's carpet textures for your game product. Stimulating it's commentary on the designs. nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. <laughs> it didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. All they had to do was transport it in pristine condition along to the Nintendo Switch. Boom. Done. And they couldn't even do that. Couldn't resist the urge to go meddling with a beloved franchise. I've always been someone who wants to go the wrong way first in games. When I sense that a game is trying to usher me down a particular path, to get me to run from left to right or maybe charge straight ahead, I need to satisfy my instinct to go against the grain, to explore, see what the designers have put back the other way. Sometimes I find a one-up or a collectible stash away to reward me for my intrepid behavior. And other times, my explorations are rewarded only by the crushing disappointment of running up against an invisible wall. Whatever I find or don't find, my action is a manifestation of my desire to exert some independence, to make my own choices within a system that severely limits my options and encourages certain specific behaviors. The Stanley Parable feels alive in its responsiveness to your choices and its desire to subvert your expectations and keep you on your toes. I think of the Stanley Parable as a sort of video game analog for Charlie Kaufman and Spike Jonze's brilliant film adaptation. Film adaptation, which generally mocked the ways in which so many films manipulate audiences with formulaic plot twists and situations in which characters learn huge life lessons, while simultaneously moving me with its formulaic plot twists and situations in which characters learn huge life lessons. The Stanley Parable you is just both- said essay. I idiot. did not. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and in other systems too, like our workplaces and our families, and a game that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Going the wrong way has never felt so right. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so there is the, uh... Wait, it's from a YouTube video they released? Wait, what? What is this here? Why is clicking on it do nothing? Try this again. Let's see here. Stanley Parable Raphael trailer. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Sad violin noises. Huh. Wait, for the mod stuff? I can remod you, Guzma. That's what I can do since the self inflicted 10 minute timeout takes away mod status. So SDK. Now more uh, move objects, create levels, graphics. Can't see that from here. People play games because of what they can do inside them, and your game is very good at letting them know they can't do anything. Literally anything. Glad I'm not the only one that uses the word literally. Sometimes I get comments on my, uh, some of my video papers that, uh, make fun of me for using the word literally. Glad others that are using it. Again, from the Raphael trailer. Huh. Your friends make you go to bed because it's 11.15. Where do I go? Oh, do I go back? The door's opened again. You just <sighs> said door. Knock, knock. These were simpler times, Stanley. But I would not oh, to go back to have it all oh, over man. again. Hmm. Oh, I can go this way. I remember hearing about the serious room, but, uh... 
I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Drinks. Oh no, oh god, no, Stanley. It's a collection of reviews from Pressurized <laughs> Gap, the extremely <laughs> popular online storefront for computer games. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. <laughs> these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Sometimes user reviews are to be taken a lot more seriously than like popular journalist reviews. Sometimes it's the other way around. I mean, there there are a lot of big journalists and sites that I just don't take seriously at all. But I mean, yeah, good <laughs> all <of> that. <laughs> Guess you're gonna go do that so I'll catch you some other time. All right, I appreciate you stopping by, stop by and hanging out with CJ. I hope you have an awesome rest of the night. Pressurized gas reviews. My head off as well soon, Guzma. Oh boy, not recommended. 2.9 hours on record. I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny? I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I can oh, use a good one behind the to insert thing. into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. <laughs> what is this? I don't know what I was expecting from a new content, but was it this? Why do the textures look so weird? Is it just because you of- You just said weird. Dumbass. <sighs> is it just because they quickly decide to tone it down for the Switch version, but it looks like way better in the other versions? Is that all that's going on here? They're like, I ah, just majorly tone it down for the Switch version. Is that what's going on here? Could well be. Textures like this look just fine. Like, look, that looks fine. And then this looks like, what is this? This looks like Legends Arceus, is what this looks like. Um, yeah, I, I imagine it wouldn't look as bad in other versions. It's the apocalypse. It's the texture apocalypse. Like, look at this. These textures look fine. And then this looks like this. Weird. The bot didn't catch it. The bot didn't catch it. It's hard to get out of the habits of saying that. Look back, Christian. Power went out. That's a... Definitely concerning. There, There's negative reviews here. They were so, they were so inspired by Game Freak's dedication at making Pokemon. It didn't catch it. It was just Arceus and they decided to make a reference to it with the, uh, <laughs> with the textures. <laughs> yeah, I imagine it wouldn't look as bad in other versions. Okay, I know I said the thing. We'll do a quick dab. Oh, man, I can't believe this. Hmm. How many subs have we got on YouTube? Uh, 15.6 thousand, I think? I think. Okay, let's see what this one says. While 15 point something. Is good, mm, 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 for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, Okay, so I? that. You can tell me if I'm preachy. Point six. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it will. I appreciate it there. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel, you know, like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. You know, one of the really incredible things about the Stanley Parable when it first released in 2013 was just how self-aware the game was in countless instances. So I don't know what I expected from this new content, you know, nearly a decade later, but to see them use this as the opportunity to reflect on how the Stanley Parable was received and take the self-awareness to a whole nother level now that the game has been out for a long time and now the game itself can reflect on how it's been received in that time. I find that really fascinating, and it brought the self-awareness to a whole nother level that I was not expecting to see. While the idea for the game is good, it becomes very repetitive and boring. Please, fast. please do not push the button. You have no idea what it... 
<laughs> yeah, they're self-aware of their self-awareness. It's very repetitive and boring fast despite all the alternative endings and game cameo appearances. This game is titled Thought Provoking, but you will get the idea that it tries to communicate pretty fast and that it's just repeating the whole no choice in games thing over and over again. For somebody who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast, as it is neither a revelation nor very interesting. It's not provoking only in the first minutes. Hmm. I mean, there's still the positive reviews that we see, like, scattered about on some of the sides here. But it's the uh, negative ones that are propped up for, like, attention. Yeah, look at that. Like, there's a positive one there, positive one here. Who knows what that one is here. A positive one here. But... The negative one is the one that's like full front forward, like all the attention to this right in your face. This is the only thing to pay attention to here. And I feel like that's something that I have very much felt over the past several years as a content creator. Like, there are so many countless incredible experiences and whatnot, and people that have, you know, really resonated with my content and whatnot. But sometimes, I don't know, especially on some of my big video essays, namely, the ones on the P word that we don't talk about that people tend to get like really, really heated about. There are some there that absolutely seem to despise me to like the fullest degree. And sometimes it can be really easy to have this kind of a situation where it's like positive one, positive one, positive one, positive one. But then like right at the forefront here, here's the one that is the one to pay attention to. Here's the one to make you start second guessing yourself. This is the one to keep you up at night, you know? And that's something that I, uh, that I've experienced a lot over the past several years as content creation. And it's made me really learn that, you know, if you do ever want to become established in the world of, I said paper, I'm fairly certain. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, if you ever want to become like truly established in the world of content creation, you do have to come to terms with the fact that you're not gonna be able to make everybody happy. Like, I'm somebody that tries to strive to make as many people happy as I can and do, you know, crazy things like this. I do like a bazillion playthroughs on my channel because I want to have at least like a smidge of something that everybody can be into. It's why over the past four years of content creation, I've covered what? Over 140 full playthroughs on the channel just so that there's like a smidge in there for like every individual person to enjoy. I make video papers. Oh, fine, I'll do the thing there. I make video papers on all kinds of different subjects to you know, have different things that might appeal to some different people. There are things that are reviews of certain games that people might find interesting. There are things that take things more analytical and educational wise, like the, uh, like the humanity and video games essay, for example. And the, uh, and the use of history in video, in video games paper, you know, stuff like, uh, stuff like that. There's all kinds of, I try to make all kinds of different things to make all kinds of different people happy. And we do these crazy events like this, like being up for 24 hours, streaming non-stop, doing all kinds of different games, and helping to fundraise for a good cause to help make a positive impact in the world. But no matter what you do, and no matter how much you try to strive to make everybody happy, there are always going to be those that resent you for it. And I've definitely noticed that, especially as the channel has continued to grow over the past couple of years, that it becomes a lot more evident when there's those who definitely really resent you for. And it can be a really difficult to drown that out. Even when, even when you've got things like positive, positive, positive that you're skimming through and that puts a smile on your face and whatnot. It's really easy for the negative things that absolutely despise you to just be at like the forefront and really get you to wonder if this is really the path that you want to take, you know? And the, uh, thing that's caused many a sleepless night for me. I've definitely tried to move past it a whole lot, but this is something that definitely really, I don't know, it really connects with me from the aspect of content creation. And there have been some times that I have debated about just being like, yeah, I'm, I'm done with this no more. I'm just going to put that behind me. But rather than doing that, I've had to, uh, as someone with social anxiety, had to learn how to deal with stuff like this and not let it tear me down when there's those who you know may absolutely despise me for some of my content like it was mentioned earlier this stream that apparently somebody was sending me death threats over in discord because of my opinions on i'm just gonna say it pokemon i don't care i'll do the dab because of my opinions on that apparently someone in discord earlier today was sending me death threats i didn't see it because i was doing the 24-hour charity stream but 
on my breaks, I, you know, saw a smidge of it being talked about in the mod room where that was a thing that happened. And, you know, but it's also important not to let stuff like this distract from stuff like this. I feel like it's really easy for us as humans just to, like, dwell on the negative of things and have it drown out the positive things which is why one of the things that i've tried to do to like keep myself mentally intact as the channel has continued to grow is on my computer i started creating a folder that i called inspiration and in this inspiration folder i would put things like emails that people have sent me thanking me for my work really nice comments that people have put that are you know thanking me for what i do and how i've been able to help people sending me like dms that are you know, expressing gratefulness and whatnot, stuff like that. So if I'm ever feeling down on myself, maybe I can just stop by the inspiration folder and remember, you know, the positive impacts I've been able to have and all the people who like really truly believe in me like that, you know, to not let stuff like this be at the, uh, be at the forefront as the uh, channel continues to develop and remember that this journey is worth it because of the positive impacts I am able to have. Like, there are always going to be those who absolutely despise me for just trying to be who I am and just trying to make everybody happy. But that's not, that's not what it's important to dwell on. What's important to dwell on is the positive impacts that you are able to have, you know? So that's something that I've tried to adopt in my content creation journey a lot more. And it's something that if I wasn't able to adopt it all, I would have given up being a content creator years ago. Anyway, that's just something that I felt was kind of relatable in a way here, and how the narrator in this case seems to be dwelling on those kinds of cases and not the uh, not the positive ones. Well, he kind of had the positive ones like in the memory room, like ah, this is a this is so great, isn't this game just wonderful? But then like over here and like the lesser maintain like the super rundown area of the pressurized Show gas reviews it's uh that was such all a this negative message. stuff <laughs> even with all the negativity you have received think of all the positivity you have also received like ours <laughs> i hope you keep on with this journey of yours you are wonderful harmonia please keep I... it up with your content i very much appreciate oh, dang i dropped my controller i very much appreciate as i appreciate the five so i think that was 72 i don't even know at this point, I very much appreciate it. Yeah, I, uh, it can be very difficult, very difficult. It can be very easy to dwell on the negative parts of things sometimes, but, you know, at the end of the day, what does that matter? It's somebody who, you know, saw you for, you know, a few minutes and then is like, oh, I guess you're freaking awful. And it's someone that you're never going to meet, like, ever in your life that just decides you're awful for, like, this very small span of their day and then moves on to, like, the next thing. The next thing to be upset about, I guess. Yeah, I'll, I'll dab again if that if that satisfies you there, Guzma. Like, what do the opinions of somebody matter who are just, you know, who just know you from a few minutes Show of, like, an moves. instance? And... $1,769.69. Oh my goodness. Cents. We did it, chat. I appreciate the $14 there, puppy yo cab. But at the end of the day, people like that only really care about you for like the few minutes that they're upset about what you said or the games that you're covering or whatever you did as a content creator get upset about it for like this tiny little span of their day and then move on sometimes i have had some people continue to harass me but in some case in most cases people are just going to move on you're never going to meet these people in your lives it's just going to be this brief moment of this day th of their day that they're very upset with you and then they just move on so why, what's the point in you dwelling on that very brief moment of them being upset with you and, you know, take that to heart rather than taking to heart the people that have spent, you know, genuine time around you and your, you know, your community and content and whatnot and who have been able to like really resonate with it and whatnot. And it's why I believe in the power of doing positive things as a content creator, why we do things like this 24-hour charity stream to help make a difference in the world, because all that, all that kind of stuff anyway. Yeah, that's a, that's that whole thing there. There's a positive review here that we won't be able to read. But yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's just see here. Yeah, Guzma did already drop over, over a thousand here, and that's a thousand US. That translates to way more Canadian. This bar's in Canadian dollars, so, uh, but yeah, there's, a uh, there's that.
uh because there's a lot with this gave 1k canada ruse at the beginning he gave more than that he gave 1k us a ruse was the thing so that translated to like 1250 canada ruse was the thing it was absolutely insane and for inspirational music here could be a could be fitting what's this one got to say do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip. I've button. gotten comments just like this on my a skip button. Well, papers. Well, yes. yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then then maybe letting you skip ahead for just I've gotten that exact same button. type of comment. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews in countless record. different ways. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. So subtitles anymore? Anything for the customer, okay. Stanley. Yes, uh, a skip button we shall have. I said during the speech, but did want to ruin a good moment. I appreciate that. There's probably a better way to put it into words. Maybe it's something that will have like a, uh, I don't know, dedicated podcast thing or about discussion on the channel one day or maybe this will be it maybe this will be a thing that i slap in the podcast playlist because i uh i always <laughs> some playthrough episodes where i wind up wind up going down long-winded discussions of serious topics i always slap that into the podcast playlist in case anybody's interested in the serious discussions maybe this will wind up going to that playlist as well i appreciate it there it's a uh, i definitely did not know what i was in for when it came to getting into the world of content creation but even though there's those who uh <laughs> those who despise me those who have literally sent me death threats out as of earlier today those who've tried to cancel me harass me hound me because what i was doing wasn't specifically tailored to them despite there being cases like that i just got to remember all the positive cases that have happened and the people that i've really resonated with and all the instances that have made this absolutely worth it and to remember that because of that i shouldn't regret anything that i've done here you know that's uh that's the way that I feel about that. I feel like that's kind of the and arc that the uh, narrator was going down I'll here for a hot second. In time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. Hold on a no second here. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people, and if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, <laughs> we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable don't monologue. Push it. And it goes something like this. The story and the... Hold on, let me... You let just me... said hello, idiot. I did not. I did not. Let me just pause for a hot second here. But yeah, um, taking 3,000 years to come with something genuine and serious to say because you're goofy the majority of the time. The fact that you're saying from the heart, man, means a lot. Well, I very much appreciate it there. Do that here on the stream. It was in the... uh it was in the discord that that was happening earlier somebody did actually come into the stream at the beginning of stanley parable but her about my uh pokemon essay and i didn't respond to them because i was trying to give my intro to like this next session of the stanley parable and they were like oh i guess it's just a it's a bad take then because you didn't respond to my thing and i was like dude can you not read the room i'm trying to do a 24-hour charity stream for a good cause and introduce like a new uh a new game here and I said, like, if you actually want to talk to me about it on Discord or something like that, then you can do it. But this is not, you don't do that kind of thing here. And I banned them. And I figure if they reach out to me on Discord and, you know, we actually had a serious discussion, I could unban them easily. But they never, they never wound up joining there. They just freaking were like, oh, well, I guess, uh, I guess the mean content creator just banned me because I, uh, because I clearly proved him wrong, is most likely. Knowing from interactions I've had before with previous people, that's likely what happened there. So, yeah. Even, uh, it doesn't matter when it is. I've, uh, I've had people come after me even on Christmas Day, interestingly enough, over on Twitter because of Pokemon. You just Mo said Pokemon. Pokemon is. I don't care. Cloud Chaser. Yeah. You can be... It could be in the middle of a holiday like that. It could be in the middle of a 24-hour charity stream for a good cause. Some people don't care, but those aren't the those aren't the takes that you need to dwell on. Those aren't the people you need to worry about leaving an impact on. The people that you need to worry about leaving an impact on are those that you can genuinely make a positive impact on and genuinely care about what you're able to share and the impact that you're able to have and how you're able to, you know, 
spread some positivity in your own unique way, you know? So on and so forth until inevitably we all until Yeah, I don't I don't get it. At which time everything all at once. So now you see blah 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 There's always gonna be more and my papers have taught me that there's always gonna be more that the logic of thing. elimination <laughs> working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible Might to be. manufacture. I don't know. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, what? blah, 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 We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly ten. Does it just repeat years, now? Until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment. Is it repeating lunch. or is it slightly different? It it's the only thing there is. How many billions left until okay, so much I guess more it's than repeating. forever ago? Which is why I say. Yeah, I mean, the story. Even if it is just repeating, there is definitely a lot of credit to be given to the writers of narration, is. even so as is. So until inevitably, okay. We all. <laughs> oh, you're back, you see. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. <laughs> I appreciate it, Kristen. <laughs> I happen to believe I do appreciate it. I more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, it's very kind of, yeah. of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. What was it? What? Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be. At it's the actually time an interesting thought process choice. that I've considered that is to say, if a lot of time. That's a choice you've already made. That's how, that it all be set in stone be, already? Then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your great gift of mortal and yet timeless thought? Or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made, in fact, make you more I can give you mod back at any time, Kuz, but just say the word. Do the very opposite. You see, it could in fact be both of these things at once. That you are both making choices and not making choices, and that they are both affecting you and not affecting you at the same time by virtue of the fact that you both are and are not making them. Okay, at first I was leaning towards manifesto, but now I'm going to circle around and slap the treatise label on this one. I think it has much more of a treatise vibe to it. But wouldn't you say Look how good the thing I can't say looks. Where's the rocks inside look so bad? It has a <laughs> That is rich with ambition and history. Ambitious history, if you will. Ah. See, now you've got me going back to manifesto. Heavens, at this rate, we're going to be here all day. Okay, look. I have a method for exactly this sort of situation. And I do find myself in this situation frequently. I'm going to say each word back and forth in repeated succession until I become sick of one or the other. In which case, <laughs> the word I am not sick of shall be the victor. It is an unimpeachable strategy, Stanley. It's rescued me from disaster in countless situations. All right. I mean, I'm sure there are some channels out there. Some people's channels where they're just like, Oh, just pay me enough monies and you can, uh, and I give you mod. I'm sure there are some channels like that, but mod, mod literally just goes out to whoever that creator decides to assign mod. Manifesto. Essentially. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. I guess I'll, uh, treatise. Manifesto. Do this. But yeah, it's given out by the uh, <laughs> well, creator. Sport, you really did catch me and I try to, uh, you? the way that I try to, uh, assign mods is, like, with, like, my most close-knit circle, essentially. Like, those that I'm the, uh, closest with, and I'm close with, you know, not just on, like, the online space, but, like, are genuinely, you know, some of my best friends out there and whatnot are those that I like to, uh, Bring it to the mod inner circle, essentially, is what, uh, is what happens around, uh, is around here. The minute I start to go off yeah, there are some channels like that, and I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't do anything like that. To go, poof, and it's all over. 
<laughs> I can't wait to see what Cookie Nine will say about this and whether they'll edit the rating. Unless anybody who just feels like view, or at least setting up my entire view. life ahead of me, in which case, go ahead, you can have mod. <laughs> Unless it's something like that, sure, absolutely. Otherwise, no. I guess I should you know. become better educated on how exactly. <laughs> Fred, while doing chore yes. while hanging out with me, that is technically what mod is as well. That would have been but it is also like a status symbol within that stream. Exercise of making the skip button. It's like, whoa, well, look at this person. They're like a, they're like a especially cool person around this place, you know. Surely, whoever it is who runs pressurized gas will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review merely because of this very <laughs> okay to become a bot. Yes. You're already a bot here. It's quite likely. As long as as soon as you say the word, you got unmodded from you, your self timeout. So that the future Just is not say the word and I'll give you back mod Christmas. I would even be okay with pressurized gas altering <laughs> this particular review so that it reads as something more benef from the ashes of depravity. Yeah, it works rises cool. the phoenix of quality. How else to describe the Stanley Parable Ultra? I'm not saying. Are you trying to just bait me into saying that word? It's not happening. Forward in the lineage of one of the most beloved video game properties of all time, the additions and changes made to this expansion will surely resonate in the annals of the history of all oh. media. Ever annals made. is a word that I've it never seen in a video game before. I've seen it in my history classes, ever etched in but never in a video game. The stone into which the Stanley Parable was carved <laughs> has itself been transmuted. Comes to stream stuff. It's basically just a whole bunch of time will tell. In their judgment, you are not beyond redemption. You may change, and you may become more, so much more than you were before. If there is any message to be taken from the Stanley <laughs> Parable Ultra Deluxe, it is this: What a fortune, a privilege, a joy it is to have yeah, had it such an experience. It leaves me hopeful that as a community, as a world. There is time for us oh, to become our greatest maybe. selves, as great as we ever could dream of in our wildest, most ambitious visions for a brighter future. Wow. Now, Stanley, that's a review. It's it's perfect. It's the perfect review. It's the review no. I've always dreamed of receiving. I, well, I have to read it again. <laughs> it's simply too wonderful. I have to experience this just one more time. From the ashes of depravity okay. rises the phoenix. <laughs> okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know it's shocking, isn't it? I didn't but say that. Anyway, I don't think right. I do suggest that we not press the button again. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just wait. How do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Oh, wasn't there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently large crack in the wall. I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip button to go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. Where did it go? Can you maybe just ram your way through a wall? Is, is there any possibility that you could, say, slam your body into the wall until enough damage is done for you to be able to leave? Please, I'll take any option at all. I'm asking you to work with me here. I we need a door. We need a door of some kind. I can work with any kind of door as long as it can open and lead from one room to another. I'm I'm going to step away for just a moment and I'm going to try to find us a door. I don't know how exactly to remove a door and place it in a different wall, but I will find a way, I promise. You just need to not do anything. Don't Yeah, I don't I typically don't trust streams that have Please stuff like that. Not. Press the skip button. Just wait here. Wait here for me. And don't press the skip button. Got it? Yes. Good. I'll be right back. Discord is just with uh, the thing where Bob here. I can go ahead and put the uh, link like that. It is the way. I think I have to press it, don't I? Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. You've just been <laughs> frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. 
Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't control- Also, if you're concerned Guzma I is buying one's it. way into mod ship, I can assure you that that is not what happened here. If you need the, uh, if you need the reassurance. I, plead with you. I can no, assure you that is not what occurred here. Why would you? I've been thinking and thinking and I, I don't know what I can do to convince you otherwise. I do very much appreciate the, uh, and it's all crazy, generous, mad ladness, but, uh, that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the but I was not like, that. oh, Why there's profit to be had. I should mod. You know, Why wasn't a... Nine's <laughs> opinion matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie Nine. Not I that. I no idea who they are. What would it ever really matter? But here I am. I'm fixating on every tiny negative thing that anyone ever says about There's been plenty of mods around here before that uh, haven't done anything like that. So it has nothing to do with that kind of thing. I can't stop a lot of the mods in question have moved on to other things with their lives and aren't around here as much anymore, but, uh, unbroken. If only but you know, some are still around here. Single negative comment. What does such an impulse serve? Nah, don't have to worry about, uh, worry about that. I'm now stuck in a room, waiting for you to press this button to become frozen in time knowing that you're going to and one day it, when it comes to all those uh all, all y'all mod nerds i do you just hope said nerd from fucking nerd only i'd held my tongue uh, all out of my control now i do just you just your decision to exactly <laughs> i do hope the day can come when i can uh properly you. meet all you, you mod mad lads i need to not use the other word me, mod mad lads in person one day and whatnot. I do hope the day, the day will eventually come. Surely you'll not be moved by my I gotta figure out how to bring you to like some gaming event like a Comic Con with me. That car, I can't say his name. He's like Voldemort because of the stream. Uh, but he whose name I cannot speak, I gotta bring to a future Fragapalooza, probably next year's Fragapalooza. I'm gonna see if I can bring and whatnot. See if we can wipe the Smash tournament together and whatnot. Is there a Comic Con coming up? Yeah, September. I was talking about it during the uh, Splatoon bit earlier, a little bit. Here I am. You know, I'm fixating on every tiny negative thing that anyone ever says about me. The merest mention of one of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child, wild and impulsive. How many voice lines did they record? I stop myself from lashing out with a vengeful fury to alter and to change and to break anything I'm, unbroken. I'm just if curious what he says if you. This one person who made a single negative comment. Go on. More than LG. This time I didn't say the H word. This time I didn't say the band word. Waiting for you to press this Getting better at not saying that one. <laughs> How are you doing, LG? How go things? This is still the exact same stream as before. We haven't stopped. <laughs> Discord, that was nice, nice. If I, so you can, well, we, we'll have to like discuss if it's a thing that we even want to try and do. When Essentially, right now it's just an idea, and I figured I'd ask if it's something that you might be interested in. I don't doubt it. Surely you'll that's what I figured. That button again, leaving me here, and surely you'll <laughs> press of effort. I appreciate it. Please, please do not push the button. You have no idea what it. I didn't even say that word. You'll not be moved by my howls of fitful anxiety. Well, I mean, Ted Moore, you become it again. You're back. You're back. <laughs> my goodness, I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I. I think it's been a week. Well, two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time, just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been. <sighs> Me talking, and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me I'm sure one talking. day we'll have to figure out it something, uh... Stanley. It isn't the Something big group it like probably wouldn't because be this year. This year's probably soon. Me once you push that but one day. That's what I'm realizing now, Stan. One day I'm we may have to figure something that out. I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stan. <laughs> what, what is this? What is this phase of the game? Of that matters anymore. I'll give it all up. 
I'll give up every bouncing path. I'll <laughs> Mod is just like moderation stuff, like banning people, I typing them out, I can see essentially I making things safe. Is, is what it really is. I'm playing the Stanley Parable kidding. Ultra Deluxe. These words that I'm saying, I need to know. A game that can't really be described. Because maybe Stanley, maybe if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared of that all along? Perhaps, yes. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time. But if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and me. When you press that button, you're still right there. But I know you're so tremendously far away. And in those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us. And I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. I can feel the edges of my reality curdling inward and decaying. It's almost one in the morning. I, can I have five more hours to go after this. Less and less real. Yet to speak to you now, I am alive. I am truly and completely here. I am a being. I am I... something. <laughs> I am something. I am being listened to. I am being recognized. Do it. Do it. The the <laughs> dialogue of the game. And I feel right this isn't normally how I it goes, but this is part of the gag right now of this section. Is that there's a skip dialogue here, button, and, and the narrator doesn't like it when we use it. You see what I'm saying? Is the whole gimmick of this bit. You can so, see uh, what this means. Dialogue usually isn't this I'm long. I'm so clear about it now, Stanley. I feel as certain about this as I've ever felt about anything at all. I feel renewed. I feel restored, and already I can sense the looming silence as you will press the button for the next time. What a terror. <laughs> oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse sure I will, of every but moment I have ever But I want to hear a little bit of what he says. The plant's completely All dead now. Collapsed down into a single instant. In that instant, I could see myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust. Simultaneously, I was consumed by it. I could do How many wallow in it for what minutes like slash hours of dialogue did they record for this? Was far less. You see, it was a revelation for me. It was unlike anything I had ever known. It was a space without consequence, without action or outcome. It was divorced entirely from the question of free will that you and I have squabbled over for so long. There could be no one ending, no singular outcome of events, not if all events existed in the same moment. And I felt <sighs> freed. I felt Maybe, I don't know. By the need to Ever palpitate that? Into being. At least 24 hours? I saw that I could allow myself to exist <laughs> What's the idea for a stream? I already have a bunch and of games on the schedule. was simply a strand in the web of my being. It was incredible. The spaciousness, the equanimity. Um, <laughs> maybe one day, but, uh, press it again. I think they just asked him to go off on tangents and think of the top of his head. He thinks so <laughs> for the narrator's voice actor. Uh, is that th that's the, this. Right, skip. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? <laughs> they screamed. They <laughs> their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. 
they had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down <laughs> review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, Sorry, First, he didn't entertain us. Now he went, Shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart <laughs> the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. We get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, oh, there should be a skip button. We should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want all of this in the new Stanley parable. We demand it. And then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. The most immediate desires, every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? <laughs> That's one yes. way to put it. Yes, it seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that our entertainment is now our lives. It has come to that was a good us. line. It absolutely must speak to who we are as people, because otherwise, without our I definitely we see that with a lot of people. Without entertainment, we would have to even earlier today, the as we were talking earlier in this discussion, ourselves. we would turn to look at our deeper nature and find a resounding emptiness, gazing back with unyielding aggression. And so, so because of this. We require that our amusements and our playthings and our flights of fancy be so impossibly captivating that they consume all of our attention, turn our heads completely away from the bleakness. In effect, we have demanded that our entertainment be the collapse of ourselves. What a pitiful reflection of humanity these entertainments are. What a shameful mirror to the human spirit they project. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about any of this. I'm at peace with it. I am the calm center of gravity around which these perversions hurl themselves. I am a waypoint for reasonable and collected discourse. They're the ones who are mad. They're the ones who couldn't stand the idea of me using my game to try to say something. Maybe they- You've already suggest. given Freaky so much coups, but you don't need to worry about it anymore. They You've actually already been absolutely up. insane. They are mired in fear and insecurity and cannot help but attempt to tear me down. <laughs> what a sad state of affairs. When you read these reviews now, you can see it. You can taste the bitter resentment. And my, how good does it feel now to speak truth to these words, <laughs> to finally allow these thoughts out, contained and managed for so long, neutered and sterilized. At last, I am free to truly think, to feel, it must be that they were so discontent with themselves that they couldn't help but leave a negative review on pressurized gas. Perhaps it says far more about them than it ever said about me. Perhaps the state of their psychological being was in such tatters, and my constitution and willpower are so ironclad in comparison, perhaps it was this state that they sought some outlet through which to tear me down. This, you can see, is clearly why they felt the need to expect that the game be funny. <laughs> that it be filled with yucks and whimsical humor. And Maybe. It, but they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. Okay, screamed. now it's repeating. They gnashed their teeth and said, and There's an action. That last dialogue was actually kind of interesting one let's just say um <laughs> the end is never the end oh, is never the end 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 is never the Still a door. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, 
um, earthquake come by? Maybe. All right, I'll do this real quick. Modding Guzba. What I do. Get dinner in like three or four hours. Freddy, you're gonna eat Korean barbecue. That sounds pretty nice. Sometimes after Taekwondo testings, a bunch of the, uh, bunch of the black belts and I will sometimes go to, uh, various Korean restaurants to munch. What is this? What is going on? I... <laughs> I'm genuinely blown away right now at what the heck is going on. <laughs> Life feels more like hundreds of thousands of years. Oh, now it feels like a horror game with sounds like that. I don't think I can push the skip button anymore. I can't push the skip button anymore. Please, please do not push the button. You have no idea what it. Uh, I can't believe I said the B word. <laughs> what is happening? Freedom? Um, this stuff is just spawning. It's not even fading, it's just spawning in. It would have been nicer if it could fade in, but. Do I know? Hmm. Okay, barbecue because it has like an all you could eat type of deal, and I like Chinese barbecue. The meat is marinated before you pick it up and cook it, therefore, it tastes way better than just a plain meat of Chinese barbecue. Man, you like beef as much as a lot of people want when your meat is just plain on season, it's just nope. That was quite the food rambling. <laughs> So the movie called The Holes? Wait, that was made into a movie? I read that as a book in like elementary school. You just school. said bucket, Stanley. That's not what I said. I'll do the thing anyway. I read that as a book in like elementary school. Did they turn that into a movie? I didn't even know.